trying to figure out how to record computer sounds in QuickTime? You're about to discover how. Hi, I'm Greg M and thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up QuickTime to record audio from your microphone and computer. Let's get straight to it. The first thing you'll need to do is head over to a website called Shiny White Box. Now the link to this page is in the, is in the description below and we're going to install an extension called I Show You Audio Capture. All you need to do is click on this download link. Now once it's downloaded it needs to be installed and it's installed like any other software downloaded to your Mac. If you're not sure how to do it there's detailed instructions on this page. Now that we've downloaded and installed I Show You there's a few things we need to do to make it work the way we want. We're going to head up to uh, Spotlight, select Spotlight and type in MIDI. Now that will open up here. We need to uh, do some work in audio MIDI setup. So double click here. In here you'll see the audio devices that are already set up and you should see I show you audio capture which we've just downloaded and installed. We need to add a couple of uh, more devices. So the first thing we'll do is click the plus button and select create aggregate device. Here we want to select I show you audio capture and the uh, microphone or audio device that you're going to use to be recording. In my case it's this one here which is my headset and that's it. Now the clock source I'm going to select my headset and I'm going to change the name of this so I can easily identify it. I'm going to call it I show you plus headset. and hit enter. That's the first part done, now we're going to add another device. This time we're going to select create multi output device. Here we're going to select I show you audio capture and I'm also going to select built in output and it already has my uh, headset selected here. So that's it, we can quit out of that. The next thing is to go to our audio system preferences select audio in output we want to select the device we just set up multi output device and that's it now that we've downloaded and installed I show you and we've gone through the settings it's time to check out in QuickTime to see if it's going to work for us so I'm going to head down to my dock and open up QuickTime Now we're in QuickTime, go to the top menu bar and click on File. In the drop down select New Screen Recording. This screen recording box will appear. You need to click the small arrow to the right of the Start button. In the drop down select the device that you set up previously. In my case it's the I Show You Plus headset. When you select your device you'll be taken back to this little uh, screen recording box and you're ready to go. When you hit the start button, you'll get an option to record the entire screen or a section of the screen. I'm just going to click to record the entire screen. I'm now recording in QuickTime. I can see that because the stop button in the top menu bar is black. Let's go into my video editing program and check whether we're going to be recording the sound correctly. This is DaVinci Resolve and let's just uh, change some of the settings on the audio. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the volume of this clip down a little so we can hear it still. Kids in the background and the waves. That's pretty good. Okay, let's now add some music in here and check that volume level. Oop. It's pretty high. Just bring that music back so got a good mix of music and the background noises. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's uh, stop this recording now. As soon as we stop the recording, the video will appear on screen. So let's take a look and see uh, how it panned out. I'm now recording in QuickTime. I can see that because the stop button in the top menu bar is black. 
let's go into my video editing program and check whether we're going to re be recording the sound correctly. This is DaVinci Resolve and let's just start uh, change some of the settings on the audio. Okay, we just adjust the volume of this clip down a little so we can hear it still. Kids in the background and the waves. That's pretty good. Okay, let's now add some music in here and check that volume level. Oh, it's pretty high. Just bring that music back so got a good mix of music and the background noises. There you have it, we've just successfully recorded the audio from the microphone and the computer in quick time. Before you finish, it's a good idea to go into your sound preferences and change your uh, device back to your standard operating device. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd also welcome any comments you may have. Thanks for watching and have a good one.